right, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my groceries and what I plan on doing with everything this week. These are Kitsu tangerines. They're, I mean, they're tiny. I love them though. There's no seeds. They're super sweet. Some grapefruit, car car orange because they're in season. And if you don't know, they're pink inside. Not like a blood orange, but they're like grapefruity color. <laughs> they're delicious. Uh, lemons and limes, mango, some apples, bananas. I got the cabbage. I don't actually know what I'm going to do with the cabbage yet, but I just love sauteed and steamed cabbage and it's a good, it's good filler. Um, I got this cork. It's two smart points for the container. Um, I like cork a little bit more than Greek yogurt just because it's, a, I don't know, it's almost the same consistency, but it doesn't have that bitterness that Greek yogurt does. Uh, technically it's cheese, but if you go to the website, most of you are probably familiar with this stuff. Um, they have like 20 flavors, maybe not that many. There's a lot of flavors, um, and you can get them, you can mail them. Egg beaters, of course. Um, this stuff is like sauerkraut, but it's beets too. Um, I've had it before, they have a lot of flavors. I really like it. There's no sugar, in fact, it's just... Yeah, see, cabbage, beets, pear, salt, ginger, cilantro, garlic, and it's delicious. Um, I got my onions and a shallot. I got some squash, ground turkey. This is a lifesaver. Um, it's already chopped organic garlic. Um, these are some of my favorite sausages from Trader Joe's and these for breakfast. Um, the spaghetti squash I actually cooked, it's already cooked. Um, what I like to do is preheat my oven to 400, stab that guy several times, put him on a baking sheet and just let him cook. Um, once the oven gets to 400, I turn it off, that way I don't have to pay attention. Um, and then, like I just left it in the oven overnight, now it's like it's soft, I'll be able to cut it really easy. Um, sometimes if I, like if it's for dinner that night, I leave it whole still um, and I let it go like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes depending. But it's the easiest way to cut any squash really. I do that with acorn squash, um, I, do, I would do it with all of them because it's easy. Um, so my plan here is to, I'm going to do... I'm going to saute all these guys together um, with some garlic and other things to go with my spaghetti squash uh, for one of my meal preps for the week. And then these guys I'm going to do uh, probably with maybe the cabbage and some cauliflower rice. And then these with my egg beaters and fruit for breakfast. <laughs> 